Hi, I'm Jim Doherty from Portfolio for You. We're here today at Alpha College in Groningen in the Netherlands to talk with Seeger Steinberger and his students who've been using the Sakai portfolio for about six months now. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got started and what, first of all, what kind of students you, you have and what they're studying? Okay, we uh, have, we have students in uh, level one, two who are working to, uh, at this moment with, uh, with uh, Sakai. And uh, they're doing the first and second grade uh, education. And, uh, well, in installation techniques, for heating, uh, water, all those things, sewers. And uh, well, we are uh, working with it at the moment. We just uh, started with a product, and uh, you know, at, at the moment it works uh, good. So, uh, we've, uh, yeah. we've we've we began to start. Uh, they have asked me uh, to to build a new system, a new education system, yeah. and uh, they say you don't have to use old stuff. You may do it uh, on your own. You may mm -hmm. seek every product what you need. You can buy it and you can use it. And uh, so we have uh, thought we don't book, use books anymore. We use only uh, digital stuff, this uh, Sakai. And we have a digital uh, uh, stuff for booking, yes. book, books, digital book. The students get a list uh, with subjects they have to uh, uh, look up on the internet and uh, on technique stuff. It's also a kind of uh, digital book. And they make uh, reports about it. They write uh, uh, what things mean, how they work, and, uh, and that they put on portfolio. So the digital side of Sakai. And, uh, we evaluate it and we give feedback. And it's it's uh, easier to uh, to work with portfolio once you have always the stuff with you. If it yeah. at home, you have it here, and it's always always together. You open the portfolio and you have all the students, you have all the teachers, you have all the products, the books, also all the have, books. Yeah. Can you say something about uh, the user training or the user friendliness of the product? Did it take a lot of? Okay, it was did. it difficult to to get the students to work with, with the portfolios? Well, it, it, it uh, for us uh, it was new, so we had to uh, get to some stages to uh, get it clear for ourselves. But uh, when the product uh, worked eventually, and then all the the little uh, miscommunications and all the things were out of the way, the students uh, picked it up very fast. Yes. So uh, I can say this year the new students. Uh, well, we train them uh, for about maybe one or two hours and uh, they go with it. Okay, this is called the uh, Alpha Monteur and that's the, that's the subjects which are, uh, which, you know, the students we just saw. Uh, when you have to evaluate a product, I go to uh, Beordeling. And here I can see everything uh, what's been uh, put on the portfolio. I get a product here. It takes time to open. Okay. Here's something uh, someone has made a product about water, water pipes and uh, hot and cold water. So I can uh, read this thing and uh, look if all the subjects which have to be in there are in there. Now I've read it. I can. Uh, Close it, and I give. I can give feedback. So uh, when product isn't uh, uh, isn't complete yet or something, uh, I can put in these uh, parts here uh, what he has to uh, uh, to uh, make better or uh, of him aan te vullen. Uh, I. I give a little evaluation of the product and in this point I can say if it's uh, reasonable, good or very good. That's one which, pos which is possible. And when I do this I, I give the student I will give the student the information uh, that I've looked it over, I've read it, and uh, he has an evaluation on the product. And he can see if he has to work uh, farther on it, or that it's good and he can go to the next product. This is the matrix.
and every student here uh, has a part, and I can look into the matrix of every student. So I will, uh, now I will look at the product I just uh, saw. What's that mean? It was this product. Well, uh, it's now blue, and that, that means it is finished. It's ready. When it uh, is yellow, uh, he has uh, given it to me, but it, I didn't look at it yet. And when it's green, it's still green for him. He has to uh, get it off the matrix and work on it. And uh, put it in again later. So all the things you see here is for two years. So the first year stops here. And it goes uh, onto here in the two year education. After f four years, no. how big is, would a student's portfolio typically be in paper? In paper, I mean, how many? How? I, I, I think it, it would be uh, two or three meters uh, wide, yes. Yeah, the, the paper portfolios uh, in, in the first place, they were very big and very slow. Uh, uh, every student couldn't take it every time with him to school. So uh, mostly when you want to talk about the product, uh, they had it at home or they had it in a locker somewhere. Or, and now we, we can just log into portfolio and everything they made in the last uh, one and a half years is there. All the products, all the products that are good, all the, the concepts, everything is there. And the school has to keep uh, a few years the things of the students. And students uh, didn't uh, have access to it. Uh, that used to be so. And now they can uh, keep their own products also.